So we are back in Costa Rica and we're going to explore the full tortoise series, starting with the half tortoise, which is in the Barking class and the Bikram class. And people ask me all the time, well, what's the full tortoise? I'm gonna to show you, and I'm gonna show you the entire full tortoise series. So my name is Jimmy Bark, and I've been teaching hot yoga since 1980. Been coming to Costa Rica since the year 2000 at the Pura Vida Spa in the coffee fields of Aldehuela, and it's absolutely beautiful here. If you're interested in coming with us to Costa Rica, look down at the description below. We'd love to have you join us. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell, smash that like button. Any comments you have, put them down below. So half tortoise, Arda Kormasana. We do it in the barking class. We do it every day in the Bikram class. People are asking me all the time, what's the full tortoise? What's Porna Kormasana? So with the help of senior barking teacher, Lana Volgestat, we're gonna show you the modifications for half tortoise. We're gonna show you the full tortoise. There's really no modification for the advanced full tortoise because it's an advanced pose. And we're gonna show you the full tortoise series, the entire full tortoise series. So let's head over to the studio with Bark and teacher Lana and explore these poses. So once again, here we are with senior teacher Lana Volgestad and we're gonna do the tortoise series from the beginning to the advanced, starting with the half tortoise or Arda Kormasana. If you have a knee issue, you may not be able to sit on your heels like this. Great modification, get a towel, bunch it up and stick it underneath the knees. Now Lana's gonna sit back under her heels and she's got all the pressure taken off the knees because the towel will help it tremendously. But if you don't need the towel, you're gonna sit on your heels, arms overhead, and you wanna keep your hips on the heels the whole time if possible. Hold the core and she's gonna lower herself down so the forehead touches before the nose, the little fingers touch and not the wrist, and the hips stay on the heels. This is a wonderful stretch for the lower back, for the lumbar and the sacrum. But let's say you can't get your forehead on the floor and your hands on the floor and your hips on the heels. What you want to do instead is not let your head touch and make the priority the hips on the heels. Because if you lift your head up a little bit and you push on the floor with your hands, you can get the hips back on the heels. Because some of you, if you bring your head onto the floor, your hips are gonna come up off your heels and now you're not getting the intended stretch because the stretch is all about the lower back. Ideally, however, hips are on the heels, forehead on the floor, just the little fingers, the little pinky fingers, you can point a little bit down. As you push on the floor to get the hips on the heels, wonderful stretch for the lower back. Now we're gonna work our way up from the beginning version of the tortoise to the more advanced version, and we're gonna do one-legged tortoise, or one leg over the head. So before we do that, we're gonna warm up the hip and the hip flexor, and we're gonna cradle the leg. So her elbow and the foot, her elbow to the knee, and she's just gonna cradle and open up that whole area. It's really opening up the IT band. And now, like we did in some other videos, check out this one, we're gonna grab the calf muscle with the right hand, the top of the left foot with the left hand, and she's gonna work her shoulder, because it's all about shoulders, underneath that right leg. So she's working the shoulder, she's working the shoulder, and eventually when the leg comes up, she's gonna pull the leg down with her left hand. Hopefully she's gonna get it as close to horizontal as possible. Now here's a really great trick with the shoulder. She's gonna take her right hand and work it around. That's gonna get the shoulder even more through and underneath the leg, because that's key. And once she's found her position, she can lift her head to keep her leg positioned back behind her, bring one hand to the heart, and then the other, namaskar. How beautiful is that pose? So now in the bark and in the Bikram world, we always do half tortoise, and I get the question all the time, well, what's the full tortoise? We're gonna show you. So once again, it's all about shoulders and getting the shoulders underneath the legs. So what Londa's gonna do is she's gonna come down and grab her calf muscle. That's the key. That's the only way you're gonna work that shoulder around. So she works one, she works the other, works one, works the other. Now she's gonna cross her ankles, 
Bring her hands around to her lower back and clasp her hands, unlike Mandugasana, where the arms are straight. So the head's right underneath. That's why they call it tortoise pose. That head's in the shell. Feet are crossed, clasp her hands, and that is full tortoise. Now we can even get more advanced, and here's a more advanced version of how to do the full tortoise pose. You're gonna go from a seated position, and you're gonna grab your calf muscles. One, get the shoulder through. Two, get the shoulder through. Cross the feet. Use your hands to lift you up as your hips come forward into a horizontal position. So she's gonna lift her hips, lift her hips, lift her hips, and then from here she lowers down and now she's automatically in her full tortoise pose. Clasp the hands behind her back and now you can see she's even deeper into that pose from that started seated position. That's the full version. And the last posture in the tortoise series is yoga nidrasana. So from a seated position, once again, we gotta get the calf muscles underneath the legs. So Lana's gonna lay down onto the ground Grab one calf muscle and work that shoulder through. It's all about the shoulders. And then she's gonna grab the other calf muscle, work the shoulder through until she can cross her feet and her head stays right in front of the feet. And now she reaches across at the lower back and now she's in a perfectly tucked position. And the reason why they call it yoga nidrasana, the heart and lungs come together, they call it the yogi sleeping pose so she can hang out here, slow down the heart rate, slow down the mind's chatter. Yoga nidrasana, full pose. So that's our episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, then you get notified when I post a new video. Any questions, any comments, any struggles you have with this post, put them down below, because I get to all those comments. And we'd love to have you join us next year in Costa Rica, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye, guys.